Very simple question. How do you make a system big? How do you make a big system? What determines the size of a system? And lots of people would love to say, oh, the size of the system is determined by the amount of functionality that we need to have in it. That's beautiful. Pinch them, wake them up, because that's not reality. They're in a dream world. It's determined by the number of people we decided were going to be involved. Okay? It turns out that you can make a system. In fact, uh, an example of a company I uh, did some consultancy for a few years ago. They were creating this kind of state machine, it's a, a telephony uh, system. They're creating this state machine, um, and it was beginning to look really, really complex. They were taking a very C-based approach. In fact, it was a really ugly C-based approach. You can still, you could have done it more elegantly if you'd program C properly. Um, but they were using C++, and I said, look, here's a bunch of techniques that will simplify this. And I drew them up, and I said, look, see how simple this is? And I did a simple demo of code. I said, yeah, and this will scale really nicely. I, I, I was, uh, and the next day, I went in, and they'd had the little scrum meeting, and I said, so how's that going? And I talked to the one guy that I thought was going to be responsible for the state machine. He says, yeah, we've got no problem with that. We think your idea is great, and the eight of us are now going to develop it. And so it's like, no, 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 this is a one or two person job. It's a one person job, or rather it's a one keyboard job. And at this point, mob programming had not been invented. Pair programming certainly had, and these teams did pair, and I just thought, well, you need one pair to sit there and code this up. You'll be done by the end of the week. Oh no, when you've got eight people, you can take months to do this. <laughs> Because this team, there are other teams, this team was the state machine team. That's what we do. So therefore, that's what we're going to do. That's how you inflate something. You know, a friend of mine took a job that I turned down because I thought these guys are insane. Um, he took a job for quite, he took, he took it with full knowledge of what I told him, uh, but it, for him it was convenient. He could walk to work. Um, whereas that wasn't a, a, a consideration from my perspective. And he, I remember he, he sort of, we had a chat about this after a while, because I said, I just don't see how they could do something, why they need that many people. Uh, and a couple of years on, he said, yeah, it's kind of interesting. We discovered another part of the organization in another part of the UK had developed a system that was functionally equivalent to ours. We took 100 people and, and about three years. These guys took 10 people and about 12 months. We make a system as large, not as it needs to be, but as large as we wanted to make it, because of the, the way we staff it, the way we create the communication parts. 